Okay, so there are tons of videos out there on stereo bus compressors. So many that I was always insecure about exactly what to do. So I'm going to make this super short and super simple and not bog you down with lots of details so that you can set your bus compressor like all your favorite mixers do. Okay, I have an SSL compressor up on the screen, super common bus compressor for your stereo out. You can copy the settings and let me show you how I hit it. Let's make this super simple. Go. Okay, so copy these settings. The attack. 10 milliseconds, the ratio 4 to 1, and I have the release on auto. Now by moving this, all I want to do with this is make sure I'm not getting above 3 dB, negative 3 dB gain, which would be about right here. So watch when I compress it more, this will go up, and that's not what I want because it's going to pinch your mix too much and you're going to lose low end. Watch. It got thinner. Now, let me bring it back down to where it peaks at about right here, and you'll hear the body of the track come back. Let me show you one more thing. It's not the two buzz compressor where I'm clamping down on compression. It's on the individual channels. Look at these claps. See, I'm really smacking that. Watch this kick. See, so I'm really smacking that too. This is where you get a lot of your punch and a lot of your excitement, not on the master bus. So there you go, that's it, take that to the bank. Let your channel compression do the heavy lifting and try to keep your bus compressor at minus three or less and you'll be in great shape. That's it, I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.